will coach the 2024 season on an expiring contract. Meanwhile, there's drama brewing in Big D. So after Micah Parsons' brother Terrence posted a response to a tweet on Dak saying, I'm questioning your future take 40 million or pack your bags, Micah Parsons had to put out a post saying in part, quote, any comments made by Terrence Parsons Jr. are his in his alone. And finally, Dak's brother, Tad, posted, quote, if I could get Dak to leave Dallas, I would. I too want him out of Dallas. The city and organization have been great to he and our family, but done with the drama and the so-called fans. But he loves this team and wants to bring it rings. Okay. Keeping in the family there in Dallas, Stephen A. Uh, tell me this. Is this little drama something or nothing? Oh, it's something. And I think it's beautiful. I'm having an absolute ball with it, Shannon. I must confess. I mean, this was hilarious to me. Dallas Cowboy fans turning against Dallas Cowboy fans. This is beautiful. I mean, talk about the disruption. I mean, I want. I, I have this as a badge of honor, Shannon, that I've caused this kind of disruption. You know, because they think about the media. They're reacting to the media. They're reacting to the public outlash against the team. You got family members that are frustrated and all of this, all of this dissension. I love it. I just love it. This is what. This is exactly what they deserve. Now, in all seriousness. Let me say this. Micah Parsons is a good brother, and he's a real brother. And, 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 and let's be very, very clear. The man is, I appreciate his statement more than you know, Molly and Shannon, because he's not a liar. Yeah. And if he says that's his brother's comments and his alone, I certainly didn't tell him to say, take that man as his word. He's telling you, I'm a grown man. My brother does not speak for me, okay? I think his brother owes him an apology for having to put him in a position where he has to explain that. I know, Shay Shay, that we've discussed in the past that, you know what, like, if Sterling was to say something, that's your brother. You know, of course, I yes. get that and I understand Yes. That. But notice how... Micah Parsons didn't deny anything that his brother said. He just said, I speak for me. You understand what I'm saying? Right. No, I don't need my brother speaking for me. I will speak for me. So I respect that. In the case of, of Tad Prescott, I know they've been through a lot as a family. My heart goes out to them. I know Dak is a good brother the whole bit. But you don't get to whine and moan now. You've been bloviating for years. Your brother played like garbage. That is a fact. That doesn't mean that Dak Prescott is not a damn good player. It doesn't mean that he's not a damn good quarterback. But the bottom line is, as you pointed out, Shay Shay, moments arrive and Dak Prescott has yet to answer the call. That's yes. on Dak. That's not up on Cowboy fans. That's not on the Cowboys organization. That's on your brother, Dak Prescott. So the big brother, Dad, you know, whining and moaning about his brother having to deal too much. I'm over it. You weren't over it when they were en route to winning 12 games. You weren't over it when they were sticking out their chest, bloviating about how they were looking forward to going to Vegas. You weren't bloviating. You wasn't doing all of that when, 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 you, when you was looking for your money, okay? So don't sit up there and whine now. In the end, Shannon, it comes down to this. We've got a clear depiction of why the Cowboys can't win. You got a bunch of cats on there that can't handle the vitriol. They can't handle the pressure of being associated with America's team. And if you remember this, Shannon, and I'll give you the floor after saying this, if you remember this, before the season began, I told y'all I was in Vegas for the Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Crawford fight. Yep. And a whole bunch of Cowboys were there. And yep. what were my words, Shannon? I said, yo, they believe in themselves defensively. But when you bring up Dak, they're like, man, he, he, he better step up. He better get it done. That You're was saying their players are saying Players. That? I said this right here on first take. Before the season began, they were like, they were hopeful, and they wanted to believe in him. But that was their trepidation. Can I ask that was their offensive question. or defensive? I'm or not do you telling not you who. There? Okay. I'm not so giving I'm, names. I'm not giving no, any indications. No, I don't want names. But I will say this to you. It was on both sides of the ball. Okay. Both sides of the ball. There was a question mark, Shannon, as to whether or not he would step up. And he didn't. The last person that gets to whine is his brother. Respectfully, fall back. Your brother, Dak, did not step up and handle his business. It's a big something. What you didn't mention was C.D. Lamb's mom put something out, too, that she uh, wanted her son to leave because Dak was not it. Stephen A., what's your sister's name? Carmen. I got four Carmen. of them, but Carmen, Carmen. is the one you Carmen, get. the yeah. one that you normally mention. Yes, sir. So let's just say this. Carmen goes on her social media 
Man, I don't and rock with I don't rock with ESPN. They doing my brother wrong, and they need to get their act together. You tell me what people are gonna think. That it's came me. from Stephen A. That came from Stephen A. Even though that's not the case, Carmen is a grown woman that can speak for herself. Anytime a family member, a loved one, a very close friend says something publicly, people will automatically assume, be it true or untrue, that came from said individual that they're responding to. That's just the way it works. I was very mindful to tell my sister and my mom, be careful, because they're going to assume you're speaking for Sterling and Shannon Sharp. That's right. When he said what he said, people are going to believe that's coming from that. When, to, when uh, 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 Michael Parsons' brother said what he said, even though he issued a statement, what was he supposed to do? Yeah, I, I co-signed what my brother said? Absolutely not. That's why you have to be careful. Actually, I called commissioner and asked him could he put the Cowboys back in the playoffs so they could <laughs> lose again so we could do another big number today. That's what I was hoping. Now I'm hoping <laughs> we can put That's them in the one. Super Bowl. Right, right. Stephen A., I want them to be in the Super Bowl so yeah. therefore when they get their eyes beat out, we could do a number like they did in the final episode of MASH, 112 million, that's bigger right. than the Super Bowl, because that's right. what would happen if they got to the Super Bowl and lost. Mm -hmm. This is a big something, and it goes to show you what's going on in Dallas. There's an uprising with their players and the drama surrounding them because they're disappointed. They believe that they have the talent to get it done, and when it comes down to it, certain players, now the defense ain't got no room to talk about that. Because they gave it up, Stephen A. They That's gave up 48 points. I don't true. know what they're talking about. He, 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 my four, he gave him about 14 yeah. points. They got 34 yeah. on them. They got yeah. 34 on them. So, so with that being said, Stephen A., this is a big something. This is a big something because it's Dallas, and it involves their key players. It involves the quarterback. It involves their best wow. defensive player, and, and it involves players. their second-best yeah. offensive player, which is yeah. C.D. Lamb. So this is a big, big something, uh, and, and they need to get this under control. Content. By the yeah. way, I, I don't even know if we could say he's the second best offensive player. After Dak's performance, I might have to say C.D. Lamb is the <laughs> best offensive player. Okay. I mean, in, in, all, in, in all seriousness, and, and Shannon's absolutely right. Listen, at the end of the day, you've got family members talking about him. And so they're a part of that Dallas Cowboy fan base. And now you see the fickleness that exists. No matter how much they support their team, what you're seeing is things coming apart at the seams because it's an indication we've lost faith. And you have a bunch of people, and I've said this before, and they can deny it all they want to. I'm telling you what I know. I'm not guessing. They had question marks about Dak coming into the season. After this performance... I'm telling you right now, there's a whole bunch of cats wearing a Dallas Cowboy uniform who do not believe in Dak Prescott any longer. Yeah. And, Stephen A., the problem that you have is they said the Cowboys, but they're talking about a particular player on the That's Cowboys. Right. Yeah. If right. you say, man, the Cowboys in general, right. that can mean anybody. That yep. can mean Jerry. That could be Mike McCarthy. Yep. But they're, they're specific in what yes. they're saying. That is the problem.